Considering buying a spa, but wondering how much electricity it will use? Keep watching this video to learn all about spa pool running costs and how to reduce them. If you want to buy a spa pool, but are concerned about how much electricity it will use, you're not alone. In fact, it's one of the top things people ask about before they buy. In this video, I'll explain how much it costs to heat a spa pool, along with the key features to look for to keep power usage down. So, how much is your spa going to increase your power bill? A spa can cost as little as 30 to 40 cents a day to operate, or as much as four to five dollars a day. That's quite a big difference. Why is this? Your spa's electricity usage depends on a number of factors. Here are seven things that can affect the running cost of your spa pool. Insulation. If a spa is well insulated, the spa's heater doesn't need to work as hard, which means less electricity is required to keep it warm. So you'll want to make sure that whatever spa you buy has the best insulation your budget can afford. Spas in the mid to high price bracket should have higher quality insulation than lower priced spas. The gold standard is called full fill insulation. This is where the entire cavity between the spa's shell and the inside of its surrounding cabinet is filled with foam. Pricier spas tend to have full fill insulation, whereas cheaper ones often don't. So when you're buying a spa, always find out what type of insulation it comes with. The spa cover. The more heat your spa loses, the more electricity you'll need, so it makes sense to try and keep the heat locked in with a high quality, heavy duty spa cover. How does a spa cover reduce energy usage? Heat escapes from spas by convection or evaporation. The spa cover needs to use insulation to stop convection and a tight seal to stop evaporation. So once again, more insulation is better and a good cover seal is critical. You'll find that covers on cheaper spas are thin and light with poor sealing properties. By contrast, covers on more expensive spas are thick and provide a strong seal against evaporation. The best quality spa covers will include padded seals through the middle fold and around the edges, further preventing heat loss. Here's a power tip. We recommend using a cover lifter. This is a special piece of machinery that takes your cover on and off for you. It will save your back and help to keep your cover in good condition. The control systems. Many quality spas feature smart control systems. When it comes to measuring and reducing heat loss, these are super handy. Smart controls use artificial intelligence to keep the heating cycle efficient. This can shave as much as 20% off the heating cost of your spa. Some smart control systems can be programmed to only run when your power is the cheapest. This might be during the day if you have solar panels or in the early hours of the morning when power costs are at their lowest. When you're shopping for a spa, ask your spa specialist how the smart controls work to reduce energy usage. Pumps. While pumps don't draw as much power as the spa heater, they will still affect the running costs. Cheaper spas often use a two-speed pump. As its name implies, the single pump can operate at a low speed for filtering and heating, and a higher speed when you want the massage jets to run. Even at low speeds, a two-speed pump will use more power than a circulation pump. What is a circulation pump? Circulation pumps are dedicated to heating and filtration, leaving the bigger, more energy-hungry jet pump to only come on when you are using the spa. Not only does the circulation pump system use less power, it generally lasts longer, does a better job of filtering the spa's water, and is much quieter. Water temperature. The amount of electricity used by your spa pool heater depends on the heater's wattage, the size of the spa pool, and what temperature you like to soak in. The higher the temperature, the more power the heater needs to warm up the water. How warm you have your spa comes down to personal preference. But what's the ideal range? 37.8 to 38.9 degrees Celsius is comfortable for most people, providing a relaxing spa experience without consuming too much energy. 
your preferred spa temperature might also vary seasonally. For example, in colder months, you may like to increase the heat, while in summer months, keeping the spa at a lower temperature could save on energy costs. Climate. In an average climate such as Auckland or Melbourne, a quality spa pool such as the Vortex Spa will cost between $30 and $50 per month over summer and between $60 and $80 per month over winter. This is based on using it three to four times a week. A premium spa such as a jacuzzi could cost 20 to 30% less than this, whereas a value spa such as a lifestyle spa could cost 20 to 30% more to run. So, when it comes to spa electricity usage, the more you invest up front, the less you could spend over time. Location. Believe it or not, where you choose to put your spa on your property can affect its running costs. A spa that is exposed to the wind on a deck will cost more to run than a spa installed on a concrete pad in a sheltered area because the wind will cool the spa down. There's no escaping it. Whatever spa you buy will cost you money to run. However, there are things you can do to make sure it's energy efficient. The most obvious is to buy a better quality spa at the start. While it might seem attractive, a cheaper spa will likely end up costing you more to run. To reduce electricity usage, look for a spa with full full insulation or close to it, a thick heavy cover with a good seal, a smart control system, a circulation pump, and finally, think about where the spa is going to be located. If you have any questions, get in touch with us by clicking on the link in the description below or call into your local Spa World showroom. We would love to help you find the perfect spa.